I never want to criticise the standards of journalism in the Times. <laughs> but maybe, I'm not sure if there was a Times reporter there yesterday, where I ruled out any pact, any coalition whatsoever. Oh, you are ruling it out? Oh, yes. In fact, you're well, okay. I think I've done it three times in the space of the interview yesterday, in the, the conversation. Let, let's make it absolutely clear what we're about. We want a general election as soon as we can achieve a general election. And I say to the Boris Johnson, just bring it on. Let's have this general election. I think we'll go in as a majority Labour government. I genuinely believe that. And, and people think, well, look at the polls at the moment. Well, during the, before the last general election, we were 24 points behind in the polls. And I said then that we would draw level, and I think we stand a chance of winning. And everyone wondered what, what was I on. And that's exactly what happened. A week, I think if we'd have another week of campaigning, we'd be in government now. But nevertheless, we drew level virtually with the Tories themselves. I think the position we're in now is I think we've built a base, got a mass membership. I believe we can go in as a majority government. But if we don't, and I made it explicitly clear at least twice yesterday, we will go in as a minority government. We will lay out our programme and we'll seek to implement it. If other political parties or individual MPs, because there might be a number of Tory MPs as well, if they support our proposals, that's up to them, that's fine. If they don't, we'll go back to the people. And if, if the SNP or the Lib Dems or whatever the name of Change UK is now, I've lost track, um, whichever they are, or individual Tories, if they don't support real living wage, if they don't support the bringing back of short start centres, if they don't support the funding of the NHS, if they don't support the funding of our national education service, free at the point of need from cradle to birth, if they don't support that, we'll, we'll go back to the people and let them explain why they don't support it. And I think we'll come back with a resounding majority. Why would, if, if the MPs are everything stacked up, just out of interest, and, and essentially it, it locked the Tories out of power to quote Nicholas Sturgeon, why would you not? Have a working arrangement with the SNP because we're because we're a socialist party. They are not. But I, I think the SNP is to the right of, of most of our. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be derogatory in any form, but let me try. Um, <laughs> I, my own view, I think they're Tories. It's as simple as that, and always have thought that. I think there is a small section of the SNP supporters who I think have been have been illusioned by them in some way, that they're a progressive party. I think those, that support is increasingly disillusioned from what they've seen in their performance here, implementing austerity. I saw their recent prosperity commission or whatever, and it looked as though it was installing austerity for future generations. So I believe now that what we want is our Labour government under Jeremy Corbyn setting out a range of socialist policies that will transform our society. And it is about, it's that Tony Benn statement we're about an irreversible shift of power and wealth in favour of working people. That's not what the SNP is about. That's not what the Lib Dems or Change UK or whatever is about. So we want to go to government with a clear programme. We published our manifesto in the last election. And uh, some of you know the story about it being leaked and all the rest. Within 24 hours, we shot up in the polls by 10%. Why? Because policies there were resonated with people's lives, lifting them out of poverty securing decent public services, giving people a decent wage, trade union rights back, and also actually as well, a, a country that is promoting human rights across the world rather than devastating military interventions. All of that, I think, is the inspiration that we can give under a Labour government to people. Well, I think, if you look at what I said today and what I said yesterday, we actually, we've concentrated on making sure that our view is that another independence referendum is in relevance, we've got to concentrate on the real issues facing people, and that yes, there will be a debate about the attitude of the UK Parliament, and I've made my view clear on that, but the key issue for us is let's get real about what people are facing, and that the independence referendum won't address those real issues of, as I say, low wages, insecurity of work, cuts in public services delivered by the SNP, the need to ensure that we have long-term investment, tackling climate change, all of those, that's what we'll focus on. John, just, just as a, a, a writer to that, so political observers are saying you are reversing the Labour policy on Indy Ref 2, is that correct? No, well, I'm repeating what I've been saying for the last three years about what my view is. And my view is exactly in line with Richard Lennon, which is we concentrate on the real issues, 
the independence referendum was a complete diversion, but I've also said continuously, I'm not being set up by Nicola Sturgeon to blame the UK government for blocking the will of the Scottish people. That's too trite a political manoeuvre that's being taken on at the moment. What we want to do is concentrate on the real issues. R Richard Leonard said Labour won't grant a Section 30 order. Yeah. You're saying Labour will grant I'm a Section saying, 30 order. I'm saying in the situation we're in at the moment, we, my view is that we will not be, we will not be blocking a proposal. The issue for, I, I said yesterday, the best way forward in all of this is elect a Labour government. We'll demonstrate what we can do and then I think the Scottish people won't be interested in another referendum. But if okay. they ever do come back, I'm my view is you can't be in a situation where you've got I'm damned if I'm not going to try it.